Hello, Joe here from Infinity of Tacoma. Today I'm going to tell you about this awesome 2018 Nissan Leaf SV that we have for sale. Uh, the 2018 Leaf is a brand new, completely redesigned model of the Leaf. The first Leaf arrived, I believe it was right around 2011. It had a range of about 75 miles. Um, it's a lot better now with the 2018 model. Now it has a range of about 151 miles on a full charge. Um, and this one is very nicely equipped with features. Um, it has a 37,420 uh, 37, original MSRP. Luckily, uh, you're not gonna pay that much for this pre-owned example, but it only has 8,200 miles on it. So it's still in nearly new condition. Um, so I'll go over some of the big ticket features. It has the SVL weather package, giving you front heated seats, heated steering wheel, heated outside mirrors, uh, rear heater ducts, and a uh, hybrid heater. Um, then it has the SV technology package, which gives you an eight-way power driver's seat, auto dimming inside mirror, universal garage door opener, LED headlights, um, LED signature daytime running lights, portable charge cable, uh, 120 volt uh, or 240 volts. It has uh, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, uh, blind spot warning, rear cross traffic alert. Then it has the Pro Pilot Assist, which is great for those commuters and stop and go traffic, giving you steering assist, intelligent cruise control with full speed range and hold, uh, electric parking brake, um, and a high beam assist package. It also has intelligent lane intervention. Uh, splash guards, premium paint was a $395 option, splash guards $190. Um, those are the big ticket features. And the, um, the Leaf fits in a really nice uh, price point. Um, there's a different electric vehicles. You have kind of like the cheaper ones that may have a 100, 120 mile range or basically are just, uh, they're pretty much ways for manufacturers just to uh, make the EPA happy on having the average mileage of their vehicles at a certain point so they don't get penalized and offering some electric options like Ford takes its focus and they make an electric version of that. Um, the Golf, uh, the Volkswagen Golf, they have an electric version of that. Usually the range is like 100, 120 miles and it's not, it's basically just a gas engine car that's retrofitted to be electric. Um, where the Leaf and like, you know, other vehicles like the Model, the Tesla Model S and the Model X and the, um, the Model Y. Um, and the Model 3, they're all uh, designed from the ground up to be electric cars, just like the Leaf. Um, but the Leaf fits in a little bit better price point. Um, you know, the Chevy Bolt and the, the Model 3 are generally a little bit higher price point um, than the Nissan Leaf. Um, so it kind of fits in nicely between those really cheap, you know, cobbled together electric cars versus the, uh, you know, the higher end ones of a longer range. But for most people who commute 150 miles is plenty. I, um, you can, your gas station is your house, so when you come home, you can plug it in, and then you can have a full charge the next morning when you wake up. So obviously, you know, if you're going on a road trip, it's a little bit more difficult. It does have a fast charge feature where you can charge about, uh, with a compatible quick charge, you can get about 88 miles of range in about a half hour. Um, but at home, you can get a full charge in about seven hours if you hook it up to a 240 volt uh, electric system. And um, most houses are, are, have that or are capable of having that installed pretty easily. Um, a beautiful interior, very nice color combination. Um, it also has a really cool uh, system called e-pedal. E-pedal pretty much allows you to uh, drive with one pedal. With the e-pedal, you don't really need to use a brake anymore. And the way it works is that when you take your foot off the accelerator, you start taking your foot off the accelerator, it starts slowing the vehicle down. Um, so I'll demonstrate a little bit. Um, you can see uh, that my foot is on the brake. I mean, and so I'm gonna take it off the brake and it's still holding the car in place. So uh, with the e-pedal on, the vehicle will be held in place, I think up to a 30% grade. And then when you're ready to go, you just hit the gas. And then I take my foot off the gas and it slows down. So I'm driving in a pretty secluded parking lot here, checking around to make sure there's no other cars. I'm not gonna go crazy here, but just kind of uh, giving you a point, I don't think I recommend people driving and filming at the same time. So you can modulate the accelerator, so you can really take a lot of control over uh, the slowing down of the vehicle. Um, 
really making using the regular brake almost superfluous obviously in emergency stop situations you're gonna have to uh, hit that brake but you also have you know that emergency braking as well um, and the way it works it uses a combination of uh, regenerative braking which um, will charge the batteries and the regular brakes so even if the you know the car's battery is fully charged and it can't accept any more regenerative braking it'll still have the same feel and it'll just uh, activate the regular brakes the car's computer system will decide how much engine braking it should use and how much of the regular brakes it should use with that one e-paddle and then you can turn it off and on pretty easily with that button you have a very easy uh, drive mode selector here you go like that to put it in drive you hit that button to put it in park and of course you can just shut it off and it'll automatically put it in park as well then you can put it in reverse that way it's all displayed in the screen very easy to read um, with the uh, SV technology package you get an upgraded screen that says navigation it's a little bit larger than the standard screen that you get parking camera automatic climate control heated seats heated steering wheel nice leather wrapped fat bottom steering wheel and I'm very comfortable in this car I'm six foot two I fit really comfortably in this vehicle and that pro uh, that pro pilot uh, driving system is really nice it's not hands-free driving you have to keep your hand on the wheel and it will steer the vehicle in the lanes in the highway if you do take your hands off the wheel it'll give you a warning uh, but if you don't heed to the warnings in about 45 seconds it'll actually slow the vehicle down and put the hazard lights on um, if you're not paying attention so but just as long as you're paying attention keep your hands on the wheel you're in driving on the highway uh, stop and go traffic the vehicle will handle the steering and the braking but again you have to pay attention it's not a uh, autonomous driving system but i can tell you um, if you do drive a lot and stop and go traffic like my wife she drives from puyallup to soto five days a week she would love to have this car <laughs> um, it would really make her life a lot easier and i'm sure a lot of you out there would make your daily commute a lot easier too Interior space is not too bad. I'm six foot two. I still have a good amount of legroom back here. So four uh, full-size adults can fit very comfortably in this leaf. Also has upgraded styling, and of course, when they redesigned, uh, the they did a ground-up redesign on the leaf. They made improvements to the uh, sound isolation, so it's quieter. The handling's improved. Pretty much in every way, this vehicle has improved uh, over the original generation of the leaf have the charging cable right there we'll make sure this thing has a full charge on it if you happen to pick it up so you can uh, drive home without any issues white is just such an easy color to take care of and this pearl white is very nice I prefer white cars myself dirt surface imperfection scratches aren't going to show up on a white car versus other car colors like black which just seems to show everything really nice lines on the leaf has a nice high quality feel these LA LED lights are going to provide outstanding nighttime visibility the chargers are right in there there is the electric motor the nice thing too about electric car the very simple not a lot of moving parts a electric motor is far less complex than an internal combustion engine um, so So you're not going to have to worry at all about, you know, doing spark plugs and timing belts and, you know, tune-ups and stuff like that. Basically, they inspect the vehicle. They might change, like, the in-cabin filter, make sure all the uh, moving parts are lubricated and all that stuff. But other than that, um, electric cars, especially this Leaf, is very simple. It's also backed by a five-day, 100% money-back guarantee. And if you happen to be an out-of-state customer, we have experience selling cars all over the country. We can help arrange shipping just about anywhere in the U.S. Thanks for watching this video, and we hope to see you soon.